Hi everyone, this is Jay Singh from Technic Solutions. Welcome to my channel. So this is another video in addition to the SCCM Current Branch Full Guide series. In this video, we will promote Technex dash DC1 to a domain controller. So we set up three virtual machines and already tested the network connectivity between all VMs in the other videos of this series. So if you have not checked them, link is in the description so you can go ahead and check out those videos as well. So let's go ahead and connect to technex dc one and let's promote this server to a domain controller. So I will connect to dc one and this is one of the VMs we created the other day. And now in server manager, as you can see, I have changed the computer name. It is technex dc one and also the IP address is 10.0.0.2 okay so what we're gonna do is to promote it to a domain controller we have to add few roles and features so click on manage and then add roles and here click next role based technex dash dc1 so that's the server we will pick up and server roles so we need active directory domain services and then additional features so we are going to add all these features as well so these are the tools to manage active directory and then dhcp server so we will run dhcp server to hand out ip addresses and dns server role so that we can resolve ips and we can resolve all the names okay so Active Directory Domain Services, DHCP Server and DNS Server. So that's about it. So click Next and um, Next and Next, Next, Next. So click on Restart if required. So it's not going to restart but I have this habit of ticking this box. Okay and then click on Install and um, I will be back once this is done. Okay, so all the features are installed. I'm going to close it now and then you see this yellow triangle uh, next to manage. Click on that and uh, there's an option here promote this server to a domain controller. Okay, so we will click on that and then we are going to add a new forest because we do not have any other domain controller at the moment in the network. So we we'll click on add a new forest and root domain so I'm going to name it technex.local and then click next. Okay, and the next option is we have to enter DSRM password. So you can enter password twice. We have to enter it twice. And also you can see here these two boxes are checked, which is a domain name system server and global catalog uh, server. So if you see read only is we can't it's grayed out. We cannot check it because we do not have any other primary d uh, domain controller at the moment. So we click on next. So do not worry about this warning. It says a delegation for this server cannot be created. Um, that's okay. So we can click on next. So NetBIOS domain name will be TechNex. I'm happy with that and click next. Okay. So these are the database path for ADDS. So I'm leaving everything default and clicking next on it and then um, click next again so that was a review so it is doing some prerequisite checks uh, it's gonna throw up some warnings but that is fine and then we can click on install okay so it has given us few warnings that is okay unless there's no red sign there so we can click on install so I will be back once this is ready after this installation this server is going to reboot and uh, then we will log in as administrator to our domain controller. Okay so uh, technex dc one has restarted and it's prompting me to log in as administrator to technex domain. So I'm going ahead and logging in now. Alright so I logged in to technex dc one and server manager is open and still you can see another yellow triangle here next to manage. So we will click on that and we, we will see here complete DHCP configuration. So just click on that and then click next and uh, now we're going to authorize DHCP server. So it says use the following credentials to authorize. So this is administrator cred credentials. So I'm going to commit that and then close. So this part is done. So DHCP configuration hasn't finished yet because we have to configure a scope. So right click on uh, technex-dc01 under 
DHCP and then open DHCP manager okay or you can click on tools and then you can open DHCP manager from here as well okay so I'm going to pin this to taskbar I won't be able to pin it if I open it from here for some reason I'm going to close it um, tools DHCP and I will be able to pin to the taskbar here okay so let me adjust the screen I will extend technex dc one and extend IPv4 so if you right click on IPv4 we will have that option new scope we are going to create new scope click on that and next so we are going to name something I named it technex client so then click next and start IP address so we are going to fill a range here okay I fill the start range it's 10.0.0.50 and end IP address 10.0.0.100 and uh, subnet mask 255.255.0 click next so if you want to add any exclusions you can enter here but I am leaving it as it is click next and these are the days how for how long the lease will last click next and configure DHCP options so yes I want to configure these options click next and router if you have any router you can enter IP address so this IP address DHCP server will provide to the clients so I'm entering 10010 .10. I do not have this router in action but uh, I'm planning to uh, run a PFSense router so I might run it soon so click next and uh, DNS as well so we have one DNS at the moment and I can add another DNS um, which is 10.0.0.10 I will add it and 10.0.0.2 uh, I will keep it at the top and 10.0.0.10 .10, I will keep that 10.0.0.10 .10 underneath that um, DNS server so the IP address is not valid that's okay I'm, I'm still adding it but you can leave it up to you so I've got 2 and 10 here and uh, just make sure the DNS server, actual DNS server is at the top. Okay, so click next and win server. I do not have any. I'm just clicking next and yes, I want to activate this scope now. So click next and finish. So this scope is active and I'm going back to Windows 10 VM uh, virtual machine which is PC01 double click okay so I'm connected to PC01 now that's our VM PC-01 so I'll go to network and connections and I will change the IP address at the moment as we see IP address we have entered it manually so I'm changing it to get address automatically from DHCP server so we'll test our DHCP server and click OK close so it's identifying at the moment and it's trying to retrieve the IP address and also I would like to do one more thing I would like to go to DC01 also in DC01 as you know we have two network adapters so I would like to disable the one network adapter from where we get internet connectivity okay so this is the one where it gets internet connectivity I'm going to disable it so technex.local is the only one which is enabled okay so the preferred DNS server is changed I'm going to put it back to 002 and let's go back to PC01 if you double click on this Ethernet adapter and then um, go to details as you can see here connection specific is uh, technex.local and also the IP address it's getting from DHCP server which is 10.0.0.50 which is our very first IP address we have mentioned there and DHCP server 10.0.0.2 DNS 0.0.2 and 0.0.10 after 0.0.2 okay so we'll close that for the testing we'll ping technex.local so it's resolving IP address of technex.local to 10.0.0.2 it means our DNS server is functional so which is a good news so we'll go back to our Technex DC01 and we'll double check the DHCP server and uh, in the DHCP server manager if you click on um, scope and then address leases you can see the address lease here so this is the address lease which recently was given to Windows 10 computer our next part is we will open Active Directory and then we will add some new organizational units okay 
So we'll organize our Active Directory. So click at the top, technex.local, we will create. So the first one we will create, technex computers. And after technex computers, the next uh, OU going to be technex users. Done. And I will create another one, technex groups. I will create another one, technex servers. And last one, I will create technex management accounts. So we have all these OUs here. In computers, I will add a new computer. I will name it um, PC-01. Okay. And in users, I'll just create a test user just for now. Now, I'll just name it test. And login name is test as well. And next, password user password never expires and cannot be changed and click next and finish so I created a user and also I created a computer so the next step is we will domain join PC01 to our technex dc one so I'll go to PC01 and Windows R control system it will take you here uh, and then click on change setting change so the P, uh, pc-01 is computer name and domain is technex.local so it will prompt for the credentials and just enter administrator credentials so just enter the administrator user uh, name and then password click ok and it will prompt for restart and just click restart while it is restarting, we'll go back to DC01 to our Active Directory and we'll create a new user there. So here, open Active Directory and uh, click on Users. And this is built-in administrator. So I'm going to right click and copy that. And the first name, SCCM, and login name, SCCM as well. And click Next. So the password pick any password that you like user cannot change the password and password never expires and click next and finish and this user I will take it to management accounts okay so in management account I have this SCCM user so now I'm going ahead and I will connecting um, SC01 as well so in Active Directory uh, we will have Technex servers uh, right click and we'll create a new computer object here name it technex-sc01 and click ok so technex-sc01 so we'll go back to cl double click on technex-sc01 virtual machine and connect to it even on this one in for the meantime uh, windows r ncpa.cpl and I will disable one of the virtual switch which is connected to the internet and uh, I'll keep the other one on and I'll double click go to properties and make sure the DNS is 10 dot, um, 10.002 and 10.0010 10 is at the end and 2 at the front and I'll close this and go to command line and then ping 10.002 so we are pinging to our domain controller and we will ping technex.local we're getting a reply back which means our uh, DNS server is working fine and we'll Windows R control system it will take us to the system of properties and in here we'll click on change settings and then click change uh, computer name is already we changed last time uh, member domain we will type technex.local and click ok so username administrator and password click ok and we will restart this as well And in the meantime, we'll go back to Windows 10 computer and we're here, we will log in, click on other user, we will log in with test user.
so that because I cannot log in because test user is just a standard user and I will minimize this and the session I will change it to uh, basic then I would be able to log in click on other user and test password so if the session is basic I would be able to log in so our test user is working fine as well and then we can log in to Windows computer minimize that and um, that's about it so in SEO one we will log in with the help of SCCM credentials the user we created here we are that is all for this video so in this video we created a domain controller and then we have added two machines to the domain controller give this video a thumbs up if you feel like it was informative for you and also subscribe to my channel to show your support and I will see you in the next video.